So does anybody actually use cash anymore? So if I were to ask you, what do you think 100,000 views on YouTube would net you in Google revenue, what would your answer be? Today we're gonna to find out basically what that amount is as we delve into the analytics of our most successful video that crossed over 100,000 views about last week. So I'm gonna show you exactly what that video made so you can get in a sense of how much Google AdSense actually pays you. So let's roll. What is up everybody? My name's Steven of Steven and Janica, and today we are talking about all things Google AdSense and Google revenue and just what the heck does Google pay you when your video starts to monetize. I'm gonna delve into the top ranked video we have on our channel. So our top ranked video, if you play along at home, is the DGI, DGI, what's that? The DJI Osmo Action is it worth buying in 2020? Now, that's our top video on the channel. By far, that is the most successful video we've done that's had the most views. And that video has received a, over 100,000 views now. I think it's around 101,000 views. So you might be asking yourself, wow, so I've crossed over that six-figure threshold of views, so how much am I making when it comes to the AdSense? Let's delve into that video a little tiny bit and talk about how that video came to be before I show you the dollar amount. I shot that video back in April of 2020. So essentially during the height of lockdown, I took out the DJ Osmo action. I went outside and for the first time in weeks, I actually just want to get some footage on the waterfront in Toronto. And I shot some video and some B-roll on my thoughts on how that particular camera performed and is it worth it? And is it still a good investment in 2020? Now, that particular video is probably our most successful video, not in terms of just views, but also in terms of interaction, in terms of comments, and in terms of sharing, and also in terms of uh, partnerships that we've received with companies since posting. So let's talk about how this video was successful right off the bat. Now, this video had a good thumbnail, very you know straightforward me blasting a thumbnail right towards the viewer. It had a clickbait title, it had a good description, and I tagged it well. Uh, quick disclaimer on tags, always make sure you use variations of your title in the tags in the video, because when people are looking up that particular topic, you have more catchment of being able to get your video shown on rankings. Little tip there. Anyways, so that particular video was well tagged, good thumbs, all that kind of stuff. And so now it's off into the wide, wonderful world of YouTube to perform its best. Now, we always take our videos and put them on social media platforms like Facebook or on Instagram or LinkedIn, Twitter, all that sort of stuff. So we kind of give it the, the beginning win to the sales, so to say, before that video goes off onto the algorithms domain of YouTube. This particular video uh, was about roughly, how long is it? Eight minutes and 22 seconds. So not a terribly long video. And it got to the point pretty quick. There was no rambling about, which I often do in every video I do. And it was a good video for getting the information to the viewer. So as I've said, all these little perfect recipes for success, but you can have an amazing video and you can have an amazing uh, idea and thumbnail and title and tags and all the stuff that's needed to create a good video and the video may still flop as we found out before in other videos we've done. Sometimes you just are at the mercy of the, of the YouTube algorithm and if it's going to pump the video forward or not. Around about, I'd say September, our channel monetized. And that is one of the most exciting things on YouTube. Your channel hits a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours and that does take time, but when you get to that threshold, it's a pretty exciting moment. Generally, YouTube says that you kind of get to the 1,000 threshold of, view, of subscribers and all that sort of goodness when you have about 100 videos. Janik and I kind of hopped ahead of that curve and we were at about roughly, I'd say, 65 to 70 videos when we hit the monetization level. So we were in good standing for our videos at that particular stage. So take into consideration, this video was shot and uh, created and all that preparation well before we were monetized. So this video was off into the wilds of YouTube about five to four months ahead of the time that we were actually generating Google AdSense revenue from our videos. So there was obviously that beginning catchment that probably would have made this amount I'd say larger if our channel was monetized from the beginning. So the video has 101,000 views and it's talking about an action camera. So how much do you think 
that that video has netted us so far since we've monetized in September. So take into consideration there's about four months from when the video was created that did not count towards monetization. So maybe factor in a certain number on top of it of what it might be. However, I'm gonna hop now onto my computer and show you the exact amount that this video has generated on our channel. So let's go. So welcome to the backstage of Steven and Janica. So as you can see back here, this is the usual creator studio. We got the dashboard, the content, playlist, analytics, all that fun jazz right here. We've got our real time subscribers of now 2611. We're growing and uh, a 1683 views in the last 48 hours. So essentially this is all kind of like the, the ops or like the mission control of your YouTube channel, which I'm sure most of you, if not all of you are already familiar with. So right now we're just gonna talk about what this particular video, the one in question, DJI Osmo Action, right down here, is actually generating in terms of its overall growth. So here we go. This shows that the video has received 101,800 views, which is pretty phenomenal. We've had a 7K of watch time, so seven hours of watch time, which is in my mind still phenomenal. We have a an increase of 602 subscribers since this, since this video was created. And, and that's a lot of subscribers that have signed on as a result of this video alone. So a really cool trick with that is also to see what kind of engagement you're getting with the video with subscribers joining after they watch it. And of course, the question of the hour, the total cost. So here we go, it is $242.02. And that's, that's a lot of money. I mean, that's $242 from just ad play alone since the publication time of this particular video, which I'm actually wrong, it's June the 3rd. I thought it was April or May, but anyways, that is the June 3rd time. So that's when that video came to be in existence. So if we click on this particular ad revenue, and you know, we've seen essentially the video was not monetized at the beginning. So we didn't have any ad play happening back at that time the video was first made. So from June, July, and September, and August, that four to five month period-ish, we weren't generating income. Now, after the channel monetized, we started, of course, to see that the play was generating income. Now, if we kind of followed the progression essentially daily, this is impressive. Off the bat in the first even, I'd say, five days, that is a good jump for a channel this size for $11, $19. Now we're at $13, $15. Essentially, 30 days in, you know, if we go from what beginning video was 13th. So let's hop to October the 13th. So October, so one month of ad play netted us about $42 and 27 cents. So if we had gone back to the beginning and say our channel is monetized back around June. And if you add on that kind of growth in terms of the video rate, that number probably in my guesstimation would be somewhere in the neighborhood of around about 325 to maybe 340 dollars so it's still quite substantial now on this particular area of the analytics if you go over to revenue we can see the estimate revenue the rpm which means the revenue per mille as our lovely friend the icelandic guy says mille mille I like that name's good, but it tells you how much you've earned per 1,000 views. So per 1,000 views of this, we've earned essentially $2.39, or well, $2.42, but you know, who's playing along at home? So essentially the RPM, you wanna have a good healthy number per thousands of views. The higher the number, obviously the better it's gonna look. Now the cost back, placed CPM refers to the effective playback cost per meal as well and tells you how much the advertisers are paying for the 1,000 views of the monetized blocks. So don't forget that views and ads are bid upon by companies. So for example, if you have a company like Ford or Tesla or uh, I don't know, DoorDash or even Longos or whatever the company is that's making the ad, they bid to have that particular placement placed on the YouTube play. Now, of course, that bid gets higher as you get towards the holidays and certain spending periods, which is a video unto itself because that also dictates that when your video is playing during holiday peak hours, like Christmas or even Mother's Day, Father's Day, that kind of thing, you might notice an increase in terms of the cost per mille, as well as the ad revenue that happens as well. So that essentially shows us we've had $8.14 per uh, roughly the, the bidding CPM of the playback cost. 
Now, revenue sources, the ad revenue sources essentially is mostly the driving factor of this is $230.64 as the estimated revenue. The YouTube premium revenue, if you have the premium subscription to YouTube, is generated $9.39. Now, YouTube doesn't have as large a following on the premium membership as it does, of course, with normal YouTube. So that's something to take into consideration as well. Ad types, we the ads that are on this video are 81.7% uh, is a skippable option. That is the first video that plays at the beginning of the video. The bumper ads, for example, that's the second video right here. Now that's an auction, that's 12.8%. And display ads, so the ads that often display on the side here, that's 5.5%. Now that's what we've turned on in terms of the, the, the monetization level of that particular video. And if we go to the video's monetization setup right here, we have currently turned on display ads, skippable ads, We've turned off the non-skippable video ads, the overlay ads, and the sponsored ads. If you want a bit more money, you can turn these on, but take into consideration the more ads you have in your video, the more it kind of like ticks people off and pushes them away. So don't bombard people with ads. It's just not a good idea. You can also manage your, your ad placement. You can basically place it in the middle of the video. If it's over eight minutes, you can place it after the eight minute mark, and you can place the different ads throughout the video. So in theory, if you have a 30 minute video, you can place ads you know, I'd say selectively in the video to, to generate traction. It's also good to put ads before you have a key moment. So before reveal or whatever else, that's also good to have an ad because it kind of keeps the audience engaged for when the video is going to come to the climax and the important part of why the viewer is watching. So revenue, as you can see, I mean, it's we're running at $242.02. Now, if we go back to this little chart here, Take a look at the uptick around about this period here. So we've gone from about, you know, $2 more a day, $2 more a day, to all of a sudden we're at three, we're at three, we're turning up to four now, even four to five to six to five. Yeah, so around this period is the holiday rush. Now the holiday rush basically dictates the fact that as we're talking before with this playback based CPM, companies are starting to bid on placing their ads in the video. So that basically means that us as content creators who have monetized channels, we get more money because they're bidding to have their ads placed. So around Christmas is always a good time that you're gonna see a jump in ad revenue. And then come after the holidays, usually around about, I'd say the 31st of January to about the 5th, 6th, 7th, that's kind of the graveyard time of the ad playback and also the ad revenue of your channel because people have shopped. They're not shopping anymore after Christmas. And in fact, most of the video ads that are showcasing in this case are not geared towards gear. They're not geared towards purchasing. They're more towards self-help, more towards fitness, kind of the New Year's resolution things that you often have in videos. So take that into consideration that come the beginning of the new year, you will see a bit of lull in your ads. But anyways, I hope that this kind of makes sense in terms of the overall ad revenue of this particular video. So, you know, 7,000 watch hours, 101,000 views, we're very grateful for it. And that subscribership of 602 subscribers is key. And, and two things you can take away from this video as well. Good videos tend to have a good audience retention. And this video also has 408 or four minutes and eight seconds of average view duration. Now that's half the video's length. And algorithms love that kind of stuff because essentially 49.5% of the video is being viewed. And that is gonna add wind to the sales when the algorithm picks it up. So it goes to show the good content creates good retention. And then on, of course, this little area, which I constantly obsess about, YouTube search. This means that the video in real time is being searched on YouTube 61.8% based upon the keywords or what the Osmo action is or all that kind of stuff on YouTube, you are looking up this video. Browse features, 19.4%, so that means that browsing, you have a 20% showcasing of this video, and then suggested videos. So videos that are suggested to the user, which are in many cases, either high-ranking videos or videos that people pay for, because you can do the whole ad payment thing and you can have the videos paid to be shown on people's YouTube channels. But in this case, this has organic growth of 14.5% for suggested videos. So this is, if we, if we click on this video, just to do a quick look at it, as you can tell off the bat, we have a video ad playing, which is awesome. We also have a little ad down here at the uh, display ads on the bumper down here, but no, no bumper ads across this video that, you know, you turn off. And as you can tell, that's me with much shorter hair. So that's, that's, 
that's a long time ago because unfortunately barbers are still unopen in Toronto. But anyways, why I'm talking about this is that this area here is a little panel which we use from TubeBuddy. Huge plug, TubeBuddy is amazing. Just get it, it's fantastic. It analyzes your videos and gives you quick information off the bat to get that video up and going. But why I say this is because of the fact that it showcases as well as ranks the tags that are associated with this video. So if you look on YouTube and you look up Osmo Action, we are number one. And that's pretty crazy. And that has been like that since the beginning. So this video has generated a lot of interest and has kept its ranking high. Osmo Action Review, number one. Osmo Action, number one. DJI Osmo Action Camera. This particular tagging, which you always tag based upon your title, Tag and title, kids, that's what it's all about. Now, when you have good tags and titles and TubeBuddy finds that, it gives you a nice, lovely SEO score of 100, which you always want to rank to when you do your videos. But as you can see, tags and title 2020, tags and title, tags and description, whole tag characteristics, and as well as title tags and descriptions, blah, blah, blah. But that basically means that this video has kept its ranking well. It's kept its ranking high. and. As I said before, affiliate links, they're key too, because that's what these are right here. These are affiliate links to our affiliate channel, which then people can look at and they can be able to click on this information, which brings up a secondary window that if they want to purchase it, they can, we then get a bit of a commission. So another way of generating income. But overall, this video has done very well based on strong tagging, strong information, a good video, and maybe because I had shorter hair. So this is lots of talking and I'm gonna stop now. But essentially, if you found this video helpful or you've taken something from it that can help your channel grow, please hit that like and subscribe button and, and follow us on Instagram. Our handles for Janica as well as myself are in the description as well as at the beginning and down there somewhere. And, and please comment in the comment section if you've also found success on a particular video. We'd love to check out your channel. We'll like and subscribe as well as comment on the video because that's also another way of, of encouraging the algorithm to take over the video as well. And until next time, my friends, keep shooting and keep creating good, inspired content because you never know when one of your videos might just take off.